Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. Welcome to my kitchen, uh, to my kitchen counter. How are y'all doing today? Uh, if you're into Nitro, this is what we're dealing with today. We're doing some Nitro stuff. If you're into Nitro, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So what are we doing today? What am I doing today? I am going to pinch a sleeve. Now, I want to make this very clear. Uh, I'm going to show you how I pinch my sleeves. I'm not telling you how you should pinch your sleeves. Um, uh, which different method of pinching you should use. Uh, as far as what you do, I really don't have an opinion. Uh, I am simply going to show you how I uh, pinch my sleeves at home. Now, I have done a video before where I used a uh, pincher, uh, but this is uh, not, this is for sleeves that uh, I don't have a, a, a pinching tool uh, to use on. Okay, so I got this piston and sleeve here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the piston very easily goes all the way up to the top of the cylinder. So that is no good. Uh, we need to have a little pinch there. So now before I start, before I start doing this here, let me kind of give you uh, an overview, okay, of what I'm about to do. I'm going to put a hose clamp, a hose clamp uh, on the sleeve, tighten it down. I'm going to then uh, heat that with my heat gun right here uh, at the point that I feel like I have heated it enough. Uh, I will then... quench uh, the sleeve in some cold water right here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that is how I pinch my sleeves at home. Now, uh, hold on one second. Uh, this is something I wanted to do just uh, for my curiosity. Um, I've been doing this I've been fooling with nitro for a long time. Uh, I uh, I didn't invent this totally out of thin air. Uh, I kind of uh, put this together through various uh, home pinching methods that I've read about online. Uh, kind of uh, put this method together. Uh, this is how I uh, do it. All right, so... Where, where in the heck was I going? Oh, yeah. So I've done this a ton of times, okay? And kind of how I do it is um, I don't time it. I brought the clock out here uh, because I'm interested. I, I kind of uh, do it, uh, I just kind of feel how long it is. I know uh, that's, I've, I've done this so much, uh, I feel confident uh, that. I know just how long to do it, but I don't know exactly how long that is, right? I, I know uh, how long I do it, but I don't know exactly what that is on the clock. So I'm going to uh, kind of watch the clock while I do it to see how long it actually is that I do it, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, the heat gun is what we're timing, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and fill that up a little bit more. All right, that's good and full. Uh, I've also got, so this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, once I have the clamp, uh, once I have the sleeve, uh, once I'm done with the heat gun, I'm going to grab the uh, hose clamp with these needle nosers, uh, and that's what I'm going to put it to the quench water with. Uh, just kind of how I've done it. So I brought these two hose clamps out uh, to show you that 
uh, I'm not going to use the big one. You kind of, you know where you want your pinch to be, right? Uh, sometimes if I got a 28 sleeve or a sleeve that's really long, some OS sleeves are, are longer. Um, I might use the wider hose clamp, but on a, like this is pretty much like a standard uh, 21 sleeve. Uh, I'll use uh, this width. Uh, is that about half inch? Something like that wide. All right, so another thing I do, and this is just how, you know, I'm done it. And again, I'm not instructing you. Uh, I'm, I'm showing you, telling you what I do here. Um, I put uh, this part, the part uh, with the screw, uh, over the intake. All right, so uh, the exhaust, I don't like the exhaust and that in the same spot. I put them opposite each other. So, uh, put, put the hose clamp all the way up, uh, and like I said, I put this uh, over the uh, intake port, uh, and then you're going to want to tighten this down really good. I, <laughs> I want to tighten this down really good, so let me go ahead and do that now. All right, and what, now that was, I readjusted it to make sure I had it lined up good. It's nice and even. You don't want it cockeyed at all. All right, so now I kind of got it semi-tight and everything's lined up. So now I'm going to torque it down. Really good. So that's on there really tight. Uh, I, I do this, uh, I always have something metal that I put the sleeve on uh, because uh, I don't want to put the hot surface right on my counter. And I always do it right here at the sink. This is kind of how I always do it. All right, so I position my sleeve so that I can easily grab with the needle nose. All right, I get, I'm all set up. Oh, hit the camera. I'm all set up here. I'm go ahead and plug in my heat gun. And I tell you what, uh, a heat gun and a Dremel, right, is like, uh, that's my version of a roll of duct tape. Uh, I can do anything with a heat gun and a Dremel. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this when that second hand gets to the 12 there. And now, okay, you know what? Hold on before I start this. Huh? All right, so doing this method, like I said, I've done this a bunch. I've done this, you know, plenty of times. Um, I have messed up sleeves doing this. You can over pinch. Uh, I have... Uh, done this if you heat it up too long uh, you go to try to put your piston in and it stops dead way down there and won't go up right you you want it you're trying to put it back the way it was okay you you can over pinch it is what I'm saying so uh, what I do okay is I play it safe on the low side if I have to try it and go back and heat it up again, that's fine. I'm, I'm not going to overheat it. That's what I, that, that's what you don't want to do. Under, underdoing it is fine. You can always do it again. Uh, overdoing it, no good. All right. We are at 12. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, I gotta, I'm, I'm, my plug isn't going in good. I gotta take my batteries out. All right. All right. We'll do it on the 15. Uh, put this on high. Uh, and I, uh, for this, you don't really, most things with a heat gun, you're gonna be doing a bunch of moving around. Uh, for this, I don't really move it around. I kinda set it dead straight over top of that sleeve. All right. Now, I'm not watching the clock for it to tell me uh, what time 
Uh, I'm going to take a look at the clock for when I feel the time, and I'll see how long that is. It's been 30 seconds right now, and it's about the time. So I'm going to say right about 40. So, um, 30, about 35 to 40 seconds, okay, is how long I heated that on uh, high on my heat gun. And then quenched it. So let's go ahead and see what we got here now. Let's see. Not enough goes, still goes all the way up. All right, that's fine. See, we didn't, we didn't overdo it. That's the important part. Always fine to play it safe. You don't want to damage stuff. Now, I, for the most part, I do this with stuff that uh, is otherwise going to get chucked. Well, not chucked, but it will be unusable. Uh, I'm trying to bring back stuff that is cached. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what I'm mainly doing when I'm doing this. All right. Let's get a good grip on this thing and torque it down really, really good. All right. We are torqued. And nice cold water. Spin it around to where I can grab it. All right. So we did 35, 40 ish seconds that time. Go for about 45, 50. We're not going to go uh, a whole lot more, right? Uh, we were we were right on the edge because, like I said, you know, I'm 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 uh, not eye eyeballing this, but uh, uh, I don't know. You know what I, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm guessing the time. Um, we we'll start on 12, right? Sorry. So that's been 30. Thirty-five. We're gonna go to forty-five. Forty-five, right there. All righty. Let's see what we got now. Spritz, get our piston. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to push hard. You, you can, uh, there's no rod on it, so it's kind of hard to get a finger up in there. See, I can push it up to like the top of the stroke, right? That's the top of the stroke right there. But it, it that, that right there is about perfect. It starts grabbing right about there and is good and tight uh, up to the top of the stroke. So that right there is right out perfect. I, I, I love how that pinch turned out. That's a beautiful pinch. Uh, and I guess 45 seconds. Now, I'm not saying that for me, for my thing that I'm doing here, I'm not saying that 45 seconds is the magic number. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, that's what worked this time for this sleeve. All right. So that is Todd's at home sleeve pinching method. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that to me, this is nitro. To me, um, it is 
you know, you, you buy electric cars, right? This is how I feel about it. You buy electric cars, you build nitro cars. You know what I mean? Uh, we're mechanics, nitro people. We, we like working on our stuff. Um, and when something's broke, you fix it, right? Uh, and we just fix that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you on the next Nitro video. Have a good one.